Hey, it's Marpola Fox, and this is how I make music, spending zero dollars. Music has been not 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 a part of my life, but has been my life. My earliest memory is my parents playing music around the house, music videos, their CDs, you know, old sorts of music, mostly 80s music, because you know they grew up in the 70s and 80s. Bon Jovi, Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, Cyndi Lauper, Michael Jackson, 80s classics and uh, growing up in the early 2000s myself obviously grew up with Linkin Park, Bring Me the Horizon, 30 Seconds to Mars, Skillet, all those iconic early 2000s rock artists. They played a part in my musical formation and also in my in my personal life. I started playing uh, drums uh, when I was four. I took drum lessons at age four and then I proceeded to take some interest in the, in the electric guitar, obviously, you know, seeing those music videos and listening to those iconic songs that my parents listened to. I was like, well, that's, I, I need to play guitar. That's really cool. And then I got into a band at age 10. And then from there, I literally started practicing my guitar skills whenever I had the time, you know, just grabbing one of the one of my bandmates' guitars. It's just one of the guitars that was laying around. And then I, I learned how to play bass and I learned how to sing. I, I started singing when I was like six and then I took vocal lessons at age like around I was like 14 or 15. Obviously being a musician I've always had great interest in music production. When I was like 12 I discovered this beautiful program that a lot of people don't really give it credit. If you follow my channel and uh, if, you, if you listen to my music you're gonna see how important and how good this recording program or this DAW can be, and I'm talking about GarageBand. It's super easy, but it's very, very good. It's very complete. I feel like I'm at a place where I can share my knowledge with other people that are maybe in the same situation as I am. You know, they want to make music, but they just don't know how. They don't have the money. Recording studio time is very, very expensive, especially here. I live in, in Vancouver, Canada, and uh, oh my God, recording studios here are extremely expensive. This is my experience uh, recording music, literally spending zero dollars using all the tools at my disposal. And I just want to share it with you guys, and uh, hopefully I can inspire you to, you know, get up, grab your computer and, and your instrument, whatever it is you have, and start creating some amazing stuff. So for this video, I'm going to show you how I, you know, make music using a song of mine that I wrote back when I was like 15 called Into Space. Actually, the video is up on YouTube. You can actually watch it right now or no, maybe not right now. Maybe after you watch the video. Also, the song is available on Spotify, Apple Music if you want to listen to it. Anyway, so we're going to be using that song for, for the video. First things first, if you want to get a recording down, especially metal music, which is or, or hard rock music, which is uh, the music that I make, you're going to have to do uh, drums. So let's start by drums. All right, let's do some drums. So usually what I do is before recording a song, I go to my drum room and I just play the entire song by my, like myself on the drums. And I usually mic my drum kit up with like two mics. What I do is I just record a, what I like to call a template track. Me playing drums the entire song and it's not the greatest sound quality, you know, it's, it, it sounds good, but it just, it's not up to, you know, recording standards or like I can't release it. And I just use that track, that template track to program some drums. So. How do I program drums? Very easy. I use a MIDI. And if you don't know what a MIDI is, is a little keyboard that you can use to emulate different sounds. So in this case, the keyboard is loaded with drum sounds, with like real drum sounds, and then I just play or program the drums playing the keyboard. Here's where the beauty of GarageBand comes into play. GarageBand has a, a lot of like different presets and different drum sounds where you can use to create your drum track. And uh, this is what the program drums sound like after being mixed and EQ'd and all that beautiful studio magic. There you go. All right, bass guitar. So for bass, I can't play bass, but I don't have a bass. 
So what did I do? Same thing I did with the drums. <laughs> I went into GarageBand, found a nice bass sound that I liked, and I programmed it. So this is the bass with the drums. All right, the juicy part, guitars. Okay, so um, the guitars are a very sensitive topic in the world of recording music because everyone has a different approach to recording their guitars. Now, I'm going to do a video on how to get that perfect guitar tone we're all looking for. So I have a beautiful Epiphone SG400 cherry color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I bought it when I was 14. But yeah, all I do is I plug it directly into my computer and record that way. Very simple. I use a guitar cable, a little interface, and boom, there you go. I plug that into the computer, plug my headphones into the interface, and that's how I record my guitars. And obviously, to get that guitar sound, I had to use different uh, guitar plugins on GarageBand. Amp emulators, they have different amp cabinets, they have different, you can move the mic placement on the amp. Uh, you have different pedal boards, you have different pedals, different effects, it's, it's beautiful. After crafting my guitar sound, I just recorded them and, and, and that's, that's it. All right, vocals. I have two different solutions for recording vocals. One of them is a little, I'm, I'm kind of cheating a little bit, and the other one is pretty interesting. And a lot of people use this. Uh, I got it from a mom. I'm not saying this is something I invented by by no means. I'm just gonna start with the, uh, with the cheating version, which is, well, uh, here in Vancouver, Canada, I have access to a uh, free recording studio because the school I went to, um, they just give you access to it. I just book out a professional microphone for vocals and then I have a little Scarlett interface, plug it into my computer and that's how I do vocals. But when the option of using that studio is not available to me, this is my creative approach. This is what I do. I go into my closet and I have all my jackets and, and you know, and coat hangers and everything just like obviously stacked. Well, not, re not really stacked, but you know what I mean? like hanging right there and I just separate them you know like the Red Sea I grab my mic on a stand put it right in the middle and then I grab my comforter wrap it around my door lock my door to my bedroom obviously you lock the windows and everything and sometimes I even turn off the light so I can focus a lot more on what I'm singing and I just sing into the mic and it sounds beautiful and um, here's an example of a track I recorded using that technique I see you go out into space. So after putting all those elements together, mixing the drums with the bass guitar, with the guitars, the vocals, and adding a little bit of sense here and there using the MIDI, this is the final result. Que no actúan de acuerdo a los principios de la palabra. ¿Y qué es lo primero que vamos a hacer? Juzgarlos, señalarlos. Y es justamente este momento lo que hace que nos separemos del Señor. Esto nos desvía del camino. If you like what you saw, that was the music video for my song, Into Space. It's available now, you can watch it right here. And if you like the song as well, Into Space, fully available on Spotify, Apple Music, even here on YouTube if you want to give it a listen through here. So yeah, making music is a very highly creative process. Well, yeah, 
no shit. But what I mean by that is not only you're being creative by, you know, crafting your music, writing it, performing it, but you're also being creative by how you record it, how you track it. We live in a great time where a kid like me can just go into the room, grab their computer, and start creating awesome music. Making music is literally all about using the tools that you have at your disposal and making the best out of them. So yeah, if you like what you saw, once again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more. And uh, I'm also on social media, mostly just Instagram, because that's the one I like. So you can follow me on Instagram, at Mar himself. Stay tuned, because I'm going to have more videos like this one. And I'm going to do some behind the scenes at my music videos. I'm going to do some uh, interesting tutorials. And uh, yeah, more music videos and just more more music for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day. See you.